Marina Ovzyanikova made a name for herself early on in Russia's invasion at a time when it was tremendously difficult to speak out publicly. She burst into a TV studio uh, owned by Russian State TV where she worked at the time and she held up that sign denouncing the war. She was fined for violating anti-protest laws then and now she's had to face court again, uh, this time accused of discrediting the Russian army through social media posts. She wasn't jailed but she was fined uh, nonetheless, she's standing by her criticism. All these charges were absolutely absurd. I don't know why we wasted our time. It was clear from the beginning that this trial was organised to intimidate me, to intimidate Russians who opposed the war. Russian forces are feeling the heat in Ukraine, especially in some of the places they hold in the country's south. Their efforts to keep control of Kherson have been dealt a major blow. Uh, earlier this week, Ukraine hit the Antonivsky Bridge, which Russia relies on to get supplies into Kherson over the Dnipro River. And Ukraine says it's since made additional strikes, badly damaging the bridge there. And British intelligence officials say they now believe that Kherson is cut off completely from other occupied territory. Uh, Ukraine has certainly been pushing back hard there in the Kherson region for weeks now and it does appear to be gathering momentum in its attempts to win back that city. But there are also signs that Russia is now bringing in more military resources into Ukraine south and it certainly won't be giving up that territory without a fight because it would represent a very big win for Ukraine's forces.